Hello guys, this is a brand new chapter for organic chemistry where we are going to continue with carboxylic acid and its derivative. So let's have a look together of what we are going to learn in this chapter. So from this chapter, we are going to learn about nomenclature of carboxylic acid, physical properties of carboxylic acid, chemical properties of carboxylic acid, industrial applications of carboxylic acid, and derivative of carboxylic acid and its properties. So it is a very important chapter, so hopefully through this video, you'll be able to understand better how carboxylic acid derivative works. Carboxyl group, or abbreviate as COOH, is one of the most widely occurring functioning group in chemistry and biochemistry. So not only are carboxylic acid themselves is important, but the carboxyl group in the parent group of large family of uh, related compounds called are uh, called as acyl compound or sometimes called as carboxylic acid derivative. So uh, in this topic, we are going to learn three other carboxylic acid derivatives, uh, namely uh, acyl chloride, ester and also amide. Now if you're not carefully in here, basically carboxylic acid derivative is derivated uh, by changing the hydroxyl group into chlorine for acyl chloride, into another OR for ester, and NH2 for amide. So we are going to have a look in how many reactions of carboxylic acid and how carboxylic acid derivatives are prepared by carboxylic acid and this derivative form by carboxylic acid. We shall also look into two carboxylic acid chemical properties which is methanoic acid and ethane dioic acid. So systematic or submissive name, substitutive name for carboxylic acid is obtained by dropping the final aim of the name of alkane and corresponds to the longest chain in the acid by adding oic acid. So the carboxyl carbon atoms is always assigned as carbon number one. So they have the general formula of CNH2NCOOH or sometimes expressed as CNH2NO2. So below are some examples of homologous series in carboxylic acid. So if you have CH2O2, you have methanoic acid. This is how its molecular structure looks like. You have the formula C2H4O2, then we have ethanoic acid, and this is how the molecular structure looks like. If you have three carbon, then we call it as a propanoic acid. So this is how the molecular structure looks like. C4H8O2 is butanoic acid, and this is the molecular structure. C5H10O2 is pentanoic acid, and this is the structure. So the, these are the step-by-step -step of how are we going to name carboxylic acid. Find the parent chain of the molecule, one with the greatest number of carbon in it, and name the parent chain accordingly to the number of carbon ending with oic acid. Number two, identify the substituent of the parent chain. So the substituent of an alkyl or halogen. Below are social examples of the common alkyl substituent. So you can methyl, ethyl, propyl, and so on. However, if there are more than one type of substituent, the name is arranged according to the alphabetical order. Number three, if there are more, more than two similar substituents, a prefix is placed accordingly to the number of similar substituents. So if you have two similar substituents, it is di, three similar substituents, tri, four similar substituents, tetra, five similar substituent penta, and six similar substituent hexa. And finally, place the number of the substituent based on the position uh, substituent in the parent chain determined earlier. So uh, this is how we are going to step-by-step -step names the carboxylic acid. So hopefully you'll be able to name them accordingly. So isomerism in carboxylic acid is not only limited to the chain isomerism. Uh, we, in chapter one, uh, previously, we learned that carboxylic acid and ester are actually functional isomerism, as both of the functioning group has the same general formula, which is CNH2NO2. So therefore, when you name the isomer for the following formula, you must consider for both carboxylic acid and also ester. For example, if you have C3H6O2, not only that, you should consider for carboxylic acid, in this, this, is, in this case, this is a propanoic acid, you should also consider for this Ester. So this is what we call as a methyl ethanoate. And you should also consider for ethyl methanoate. So this is how we are going to name the carboxylic acid. If you have 4C, then you can have different isomerism of carboxylic acid, namely butanoic acid, 2 methyl propanoic acid. And there are also different arrangement of ester, such as methyl propanoate, ethyl propanoate, propyl methanoate, and isopropyl methanoate. So these are the possibilism, uh, these are the possibility of this ester and also carboxylic acid when you have such molecular formula. 
For carbon C acid and ester, to exhibit isomerism, it should have at least five carbon in it. Among the constitutional isomers, some of them are exhibit optical isomerism. For example, 2 methylbutanoic acid can exist as a pair of optical isomerism, and set methyl methanoate, this is the pair of optical isomerism that we are talking about. Then we have dicarboxylic acid, uh, also known as alkane dioic acid, is the IUPAC name system or substitute system. Most simple dicarboxylic acid has a common name. So, for example, ethane dioic acid, also known as oxalic acid, has the molecular structure of uh, COOH, COOH. Propane dioic acid is 3C, ending with both COOH. Butane dioic acid is 4C, ending with COOH. Pentane dioic acid, 5C. Hexane dioic acid, 6C. And if you have 1,4 benzene dioic acid, it is also known as terephthalic acid, so which has the following molecular structure. So this is a little bit about di uh, dioic acid. Next, we are going to have a look at the physical properties of the carboxylic acid. So given to you, these are the uh, tables for the physical properties when going down to the homologous series. So as you can see in here, boiling point increases when going down to homologous series, and most of the early uh, carboxylic acids are very soluble in water. However, starting from pentanoic acid, hexanoic acid, and benzoic acid, they are considered sparingly soluble in water. As for acidity, acidity varies depends on the uh, depends on the substituent inside this carboxylic acid. So let's have a look one by one. What is the boiling point uh, of carboxylic acid? So when going down to homologous series, we say that the boiling point increase when going down to homologous series. So why does the boiling point increase when going down to homologous series? This is due to the increase of relative molecular mass, which increase the weak, uh, weak, weak intermolecular forces. Cannot say van der Waals. Huh? It should be intermolecular forces, causing the boiling point to increase. However, if you compare the boiling point of different functioning group, a few organic compounds with almost similar molecular mass are compared explained below. For example, in here you can see that carboxylic acid has the highest boiling point among all of them. This is due to it can form dimer among itself by using two hydrogen bonds. Propanol which has the same molecular mass contains only one hydrogen bond, therefore has a lower boiling point compared to ethanol acid. Propanol has a higher boiling point because it is a polar molecule which form permanent dipole forces, whereas butane is a non-polar molecule which form an induced dipole forces. So students, you have to be very no well versed in uh, how to compare the physical properties of different functioning group because the more functioning group that we learn, the more things that you are, need uh, you are needed to ex uh, compare and explain. Next is how to solubility of carboxylic acid in water. So a small number of carbon from C1 to C4 are completely miscible in water since it can form hydrogen bond in water as illustrated in the diagram here. However, as the number of carbon increase, hydrophobic properties increase causing the carboxylic acid to be more insoluble in water. Now benzoic acid does not dissolve in water and form a white precipitate or white suspension in water. Next, we are going to have a look at the acidity of carboxylic acid. So carboxylic acid is considerably a weak acid. Now given to you, this is the dissociation of the carboxylic acid in water where you have RCOH plus H2O give RCO minus plus H2O plus and Ka can be expressed as below. So the pKa value of some carboxylic acids are given in the table, below, uh, in the table just now. So uh, generally, uh, carboxylic acid is a stronger weak acid compared to alcohol since the charge of delocalization at the carboxylic ion makes the ion form to become more stable as it can form resonance structure due to the mesomeric effect hence increase the stability of the carboxylic ion. So as a result, equilibrium favor to the right and makes the carboxylic acid to be more acidic compared to uh, alcohol. Okay? Similar to the alcohols, carboxylic acid attached to an LQ has a lower acidity compared to a carboxylic acid uh, attached to a phenyl. Uh, in another word, it is a benzoic acid. So this is due to most of the LQ are electron donating group, while phenyl is an electron withdrawing group. So later we are going to discuss in details how will these phenyls affect the acidity of the carboxylic acid. So as you can see in here, this is the table of the acidity with some of the molecular formula. So um, you can see that when going down to homologous series, the pKa value increase showing that it is a weaker acid when going down the homologous series. And if we compare ethanoic acid to um, chloro ethanoic acid and trichloro ethanoic acid, we can see that the pKa value decrease. Benzoic acid is a stronger acid compared to ethanoic acid. And with the presence of CH3, the, uh, the pKa value increase, which shows that it is a weaker acid. 
with the presence of NO2, the PKA value decreases, which shows that it is a weaker acid. So later we are, it is a stronger acid compared to benzoic acid. So later we are going to explain in detail one by one how does this acidity strength is compared. Now starting from the basic one, so carboxylic acid dissolves in water to according to the equation RCOH plus H2O give RCO minus plus H2O plus. So LQ group, which act as an electron donating group, donate the electron density to the O, causing the electron density of the O in the ROH increase. As a result, O is more ready to accept proton rather than dissociate proton. So therefore, acidity increase, it decrease in the order from methanoic acid to ethanoic acid to propanoic acid. This is due to longer the LQ chain, stronger the electron donating effect, therefore equilibrium favor more to the left. As for benzoic acid, so when benzoic acid dissociate in water, according to this equation, so the phenyl group act as an electron withdrawing group, which withdraw the electron density from the partial negative charge of the oxygen, making O less readily to accept proton. As a result, O is more readily to donate proton, which makes equilibrium favor more to the right. Since CH3 is considered as an electron donating group to the benzene ring, so it increases the electron density in the benzene ring and increase the polarity of the OH1. So this will make the hard a H harder to dissociate, hence causing the equilibrium shift slightly to the left, so decreasing the acidity of benzoic acid. Whereas NO2, which acts as an electron withdrawing group, hence uh, increase the stability of the carboxylic ion, as a result, equilibrium slightly favor to the right, hence increase the acidity compared to the benzoic acid. And then this is the effect of the distance of electrons without, uh, withdrawing group towards the acidity of butanoic acid. Now you can compare it between these four but, uh, chlorobutanoic acid. They have the position 2, they have the position 3, and you have the position 4. So as you can see, as further the position, pKa value increases. This is due to inductive effect operates through the pi bonds and are dependent on the distance. So uh, closer the distance to the COH, the stronger the acid it is. So therefore, that is why when you move towards the closer distance, the pKa value decreases. Last but not least is the effect of the number of substituents towards the acidity of ethanol acid. We know that Cl acts as an electron withdrawing group. However, note that as the number of Cl increase, the acidity also, the acidity also increase. So this can be uh, explained in the term of increment of negative inductive effect caused by the Cl, which further stabilizes the conjugate base form. So as a result, equilibrium shift more to the right, hence increase the acidity. So there I have for you the first part of the carboxylic acid videos. So I'm going to continue more with chemical properties later. See ya!